Something Japan is best known for, apart from now giant phalluses, is ingenious gadgets and tech. This is a super gadget shop I recommend. We are in Akihabara, Tokyo's hub for solutions to problems that no one has ever identified. And where I experience firsthand the Ujiro shopping channel. This is a uh, backpack to carry your animal, dog or cat. What is that? It's, it's a mask. It blocks tiny particles from the pine trees. Like hay fever? Yes. It also makes you look a tit. Yes, it's an ear cleaner. But if I clean your ears, the video inside of your ears is displayed on your iPhone. Isn't that fantastic? No. What do you think this is? I don't have no idea what that is. It's a dish cleaner. What? There you go. What is the point of that, really? But you're not going to buy this. No, I'm not. As well as the smaller Aladdin's caves of Akihabara, there are towering shrines to tech. When I first came to Tokyo 25 years ago, you could buy things that you simply didn't see anywhere else, like a little credit card that held phone numbers and addresses. This was before we had smartphones and what have you. But these days, that's not the case because we get the same electronics everywhere. But there's one area of cutting-edge tech where Japan definitely sits on the throne. Ah, oh, here's something we need to address, Ujiro. Uh, toilets. The Japanese kazi. This is oshiri. This very helpful uh, little graphic means ass wash. Yes, ass, yes. And yes. some of them play a tune as well, don't they? Yes. So that if you do a big fart, you're not embarrassed. Is that right? Yeah, so yeah, In yeah. England, people just sing Roll Out the Barrel or something to cover up the noise. The, the latest uh, models have this automatic self-washing, um, what do you say, uh, program. It cleans itself, Ooh, the latest right. model, ah, latest right, model. Okay. But, oh, that's why this is expensive one. Absolutely. Yeah. But if um, you can adjust how strong you want the water to, you know, clean your ass or your, yes, yes. Uh, your bidet, yes, your, yes. your sensitive crutch. Yes, OK. So you can even wash your face with this, you know? You can, I mean, theoretically. When you press the hip, the, the water comes out. You can. You can, theoretically. But you, you don't have to. Right. Yes. Shall we cut? Yes. <laughs> Akihabara isn't just a centre for gadgets. It's a hub for all geeky interests, from manga to video games. As such, it's a home for a very important sector of Japanese society. The otaku, which translates roughly as super geek. The difference between super geeks here and in Britain, for example, is that here they're not derided, they are embraced, they are welcomed as a necessary part of the social fabric. And the greatest of all super geeks are, of course... Tetsudo mania, or train spotters. Train spotters. Japanese trains are so efficient, if they are late, they often have to issue certificates to all the passengers, or their workplaces won't believe it happened. This means Tokyo is a train spotter's paradise. Yujiro's arranged for me to meet two train spotting otaku at a model railway themed cafe around the corner. Because, of course, there is. Ah, oh, Ine! Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hello. Excellent. Do you have to be secret about your train obsession? High school student, uh, junior high school student, <laughs> ladies, yeah. eh, oh, I, I think yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, he didn't have, what do you say? He couldn't grab the heart of the girls in his classroom. Because he liked trains. Yeah. Uh, train. <laughs> when you start train, writing train. Train, yeah. train, yeah. taking pictures. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Like otaku. <laughs> oh, <hey>, otaku. <laughs> otaku. Did you eventually meet some girls? Mm. Takahiro-san is so obsessed with trains 
He actually achieved 50 minutes of fame in Japan with a top 20 single where he mimicked platform announcements. No, really. I mean, it's still better than Coldplay. And that's not all. You can, I heard you do noises. You can do beatbox train noises. Yes. Can you do Shinkansen? That's the Japanese bullet train. That's quite good, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Bravo, can bravo. Do, yeah. Can you do... I don't know if you can see this. There's a small... Looks oh. like a German steam... Made in Japan. That's Japanese steam yes. locomotive. OK, can you, can you do the noise of that? That is a realistic chuffing sound. End of interview. <laughs> okay.